yeah, definitely. Um, there's been a lot of stuff spoken about in terms of that rotation, hasn't there? So I think as a player, it's been personally I found very beneficial. The, the bubbles are really tough from a player's perspective, um, being away for long periods, and it is nice. I'm kind of coming back after my break. I do feel really refreshed and raring to go for this white ball series. Um, I think it's going to be a, a great series, and like you said, there's been various players who have had the had the breaks. So I'm sure guys might say similar things so I think everyone reacts to the bubbles in very different ways but um, and that's why I think ECB have been good to us as players to allow us to get out and come back and I think it's about keeping us mentally physically and um, fresh in that aspect so hopefully it does benefit us and I certainly appreciate the break that I was given. <laughs> yeah I guess in a way you could say that but um, I think it's more that I guess that burnout in terms of be looking at the long term what we've got coming up in terms of the t20 world cup the ashes the big india summer when they come in the summer so and the obviously the new zealand test now so i think it's a, a really busy period and i think england are just trying to make sure they get it right and i guess in the long term and make sure we are playing a, a lot of cricket but at the same time not making sure we aren't burning out um i'd say oh, yeah anytime england go out there it's always going to be an important game you obviously saw that test series was really competitive having having I watched it, it was great to watch it was obviously a fantastic series but unfortunately England did lose but I think again with the T20s coming up it is it is a World Cup year so there's going to be a lot of emphasis on us doing really well especially being in India now the World Cup is going to be here as well in October time so that's really exciting for us as players but um, no I don't think there's I think personally any time as a player you go out to play for England and the teams that they're putting out is always going to be going out there to win so I think that's a it's really exciting. It's going to be a, a fascinating series, I think. So yeah, the boys are really excited. Um, well, to be honest, there's actually a, there's a lot of players that didn't play in the in the Test stuff that are playing in the T20 series. So that's going to obviously that might be beneficial in a way, I guess you could say. But um, every as um, well, most of the players will do, you move on pretty quickly and focus on what's ahead and try and improve. So I think come come Friday, the team that goes out there is going to be ready and really excited to play against a really good Indian outfit. So I think it's going to be a great series to play in, and I'm sure you guys watching will enjoy it as well. Yeah, exactly. I think um, I'm not someone who looks too far ahead, but uh, I think one game at a time and hopefully I can put in some performances and be in that squad that comes to India for the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I've actually said it before in probably a few months, last few months is I definitely felt I came back a much better, a much better player from the IPL last year in Dubai. As um, Will said, there I did various roles and got challenged in many different ways, which I really enjoyed and I think has benefited my game. It's a fantastic tournament. Us players love playing in it. It's um, great crowds. India is an amazing place to play cricket, and it's the best T20 comp around. So it's um, it's great as a player to be playing in that. I think, especially with that T20 World Cup in India, um, it's going to be great preparation, great for us to keep developing in these conditions. So. Yeah, really looking forward to it. You're playing against such quality opposition, such quality international players at these tournaments and there's nothing better than game time and playing in games where you under pressure and pressure moments, um, big crowds under pressure, different roles, chasing targets, trying to defend targets. It's um, great. It's a great tournament. You love winning. So that's the way I play. And I think in the IPL is a very competitive tournament. So um, there's definitely things I've learned, I guess, in the IPL that I'm going to hopefully bring into the England setup. Um, but then again, I learned things in the England setup that I can bring into the IPL. So yeah, it's, I think they both complement each other and I think it's it's a really exciting time. Yeah, well, to be honest, only yesterday the um, IPL dates came out. So I think it's obviously any time there's England, the England games early on in the summer, you do obviously want to play in them. But obviously if you see how the IPL date tournament pans out, if I guess if you miss the qualifications, I presume you'll be most likely be available for those tests and if you in the IPL might be a bit in the final it might be a bit different so I think it's still quite a way away and um, yeah I think it's going to be no one really knows how it's going to all pan out so yeah fingers crossed I, I don't really know because it's, it's quite a long way away and see how the IPL goes I guess.